question from learning so everything is given then the jigla amar prothom problem hoye chilo kore am kon gulo bhul am korte eto problem to dekha adiabatic efficiency adiabatic efficiency of turbine boleche ekhane adiabatic efficiency of turbine boleche kono ekta onke adiabatic efficiency of pump o bolte pare pump er hole ki hoy amra ekhane jani eta edike chote ashbe eki same case n holo n adiabatic dutoi adiabatic process na W actual divided upon W ideal. That's how we are going to figure out the what is the adiabatic efficiency. The next thing that we need to take care of is that what is the work output? That is W of turbine minus W of pump. But in case of turbine, there is a adiabatic. That is the actual process that has been described here. So for that to be found out, we have to take the actual efficiency. But we need to find the points like four, one, two, three. So what are the mistakes that I have made first is that I have tried to calculate the enthalpy at H4, but enthalpy at H4 you can see it's a saturated, it's a dry saturated. Sorry, it's a superheated vapor and its enthalpy has been given here. But why are you calculating the H4 point? You need to calculate the H2 point. But H2 point, what mistake did you did is that there is a line that is written worse. Condenser exit at saturated water. Saturated water that means not means that it is dryness fraction is one. It means the saturated water there can be what is saturation? Saturated water I means see. Saturated means the complete how much Vapor it can hold, it has been hold, it can now it will just gonna leave. It will leave saturated water. That means like the vapor that was there, it has been just gonna create phase change. It don't mean that it is hundred percent. That's the mistake first you have did and you have to find out the dryness fraction, then the H1 value we are getting. We are not getting to H4. H1 value is given in the table also. And from there, there is the H1 value we are getting. And what do you need? H4 and H1. And H4 is given here, so then we are just calculating H4 and H1. And then it is the formula the W actual by W ideal. W actual we are getting how W ideal we are getting. Then the isentropic reactions we are just multiplying. Then coming to the pump work. The pump work formula is that double pump is V that is the bottom line that that is the condensed line. Just see that that is the constant pressure process. And what you can see that line the pressure of volume of fluid has been given here into E2 minus P3 and P2 do you will know that adiabatic pressure that is a two pressure process like there is a two pressure line there is that the pressure difference is there but the one more thing that is you are just forgetting is H4 minus H3 that is important that is your forgetting is thing it's really important you need to remember this thing and from there we are getting H3 value and the more thing that you are thinking that H3 value is given but H3 value is we don't know na, where it is sub cool where it is or nothing so H3 value we need to figure out then there from pump work we can get and then we just subtracting and getting the work of the process like that work output like work output of the process and then the which supplied would be in the condenser process that is the h4 minus h3 that is easy okay got it